We are at Puma Kebun Camping Ground in Ulu Langat. To camp here, you have to book a few months in advance. Today, we have a chance to see why this place is so popular with campers. The first thing that caught our attention was the well-built road. Coming into Jalan Semungkis, you will notice a number of campsites on the right side of the road. The access roads are very steep and some vehicles may have a problem going out with their heavy loads. But the road here is very gradual with lots of traction. We are occupying two of the three car camping lots. They are lots 12 and 13. As you can see, the lots are very spacious and can accommodate two cars and about six people a lot. They provide a dustbin in each lot, so you do not have to carry out your rubbish. There is also a standpipe for you to do the washing as well as for cooking. From our lots, we have a nice view of the river. Each car camping lot has trees and bushes on two sides and the back. This way, you get lots of privacy, which is something we enjoy when camping. Lunch time! Pride Kui Tiao Mi! Very late lunch after a late breakfast. <laughs> This setup is very cozy, and Jenny set it up all by herself. Her hubby has to work late, as it's a Friday, and tomorrow is Merdeka, but he should be arriving before dinner.
Time to get our sleeping space ready. We'll start with the first layer of the rubber yoga mats. The second layer is a soft cloth mat. Now that looks comfortable. Oops, we are not done yet. There's a mattress protector coming on top of that. Good. Surely we're done now. Nope, we need to throw a comforter on top of that. Yeah, I say we are done now? Hey, why stop at one when you can have two comforters? Okay, this is the last one. I promise. We will be getting in and out of the car through the rear passenger doors, so we need to have a fly sheet over them in case it rains. Roast chicken and baked potatoes in the making. We are roasting a whole chicken inside an algae cam oven. And we have tacos at the bottom as well as on the top. This is our friend Jenny, camping setup. You should be sleeping in the car. Wow, look at that. Such luxury. Nice! Thank you, Jenny, Thank for you. a wonderful birthday Enjoy. tree. Enjoy, have fun. Definitely. <laughs> the 
weather has cooled down and it does not look like it will be having rain tonight. It's around 7 p.m. now and the lights have come on. Okay, let's have a look. Looks like the chicken's done. It only took about 40 minutes in the oven with the potato. Dinner is ready. Roasted chicken with potatoes. While Jenny finishes up with her mushroom soup, we'll add some broccoli to dress up the roast chicken. For dinner tonight, we are having roast chicken with potatoes and broccoli, garlic bread, homemade mushroom soup and a salad. Okay, let's dig in. Our trusty Wempa power station has been running our cam lights, charging our camera and phone batteries, as well as running two fans in the car to keep us cool while we slept. We had a very good sleep last night, as our bed was soft and comfortable, and the night was cool. Let's take a walk around this campground before breakfast. We have a very nice swimming pool here. Each morning, the staff can be seen scooping out leaves from the pool.
this and there can be rented out for large groups. There are two long buildings, two dining tents, and a cooking area with a barbecue grill. There is also a large open area for activities. Looks like the owner is also cultivating Kaluluk bees. In this section, there are raised wooden platforms for your tents with a roof overhead. This part of the river looks much nicer. There is also a private bathroom and toilet for each lot. Jenny. My chef, Jenny. Hello, no makeup. <laughs> <laughs> this morning breakfast is prepared by Jenny. 
We are having croffles with homemade strawberry jam. That is the main one. The ladies have left to attend a wedding of one of their work colleagues. So I am tasked with keeping Glenn and me alive till dinner. I am cooking lamb curry to have with roti chanai. I had already fried the curry paste at home so that my cooking would be faster. It's time for me to add the lamb. As I love my curry stick, I have to continually stir until the lamb is soft to prevent the curry burning at the bottom. When the meat is tender, it's time to add the potatoes and a bit of water. The potatoes are soft and my lamb curry is done. It's time for the roti chanai. Lunch is served. It started to rain heavily outside and we are at Jenny's luxury home for dinner. Always amazed at the menu she comes up with. We are having Korean tonight. Korean ginseng chicken soup, egg rolls, japchae, and the star of the evening, different cuts of grilled wagyu beef. Water level has been steadily rising and we have to keep an eye on its level from time to time. If it gets too high, we have to decide to stay put or move. Yeah, the service come, eh? For a while, gone. After a while, you come very fast, you go. But they are using the, that one, the data plan, so... Today, right now, this one. Oh! Update the first one. Last night, update. Update the app.
the eating bowl, man. Oh, I got it very cheap. See, see, full sale price. <laughs> I know all this lobang lobang buy buy stuff. Uh. Yeah, that she take for you. Yeah, she take for you one. Ah. Then a bit of wasabi. And yum, huh? Okay. Um. Nice, is it? My friend, just down the road there, Ajin he was slapped away with his dog. Yeah, the uh, Batu, uh, no, uh, no, uh, Batu, Batu, Batu 18, Sungai Lui there, Sungai Lui. Same river. Yeah. Mm. Mm. The water level doesn't seem to be rising anymore, and the rain is not as heavy. We do not have to worry about flash flood now. It's the third day and it's our turn to prepare breakfast. We are having barbecue sausage with egg and bread.
decided to cook lunch before starting to pack up. We are having corned beef and cabbage soup with baguette. Now that most of the packing is done, it's time to relax and enjoy the last few minutes at this campsite. From what we can see, this site has got lots of advantages. We have decent toilets with hot showers, a dustbin, standpipe and power socket at every site. The site is properly maintained and there's lots of privacy for the campers. The owner has created different styles of camping convenience to suit the different needs of campers that blends with the nature. Check-in time is from 9am onwards and check-out is before 6pm. There's a parking lot for every site and the roads are well planned out. We can understand why people are willing to wait Even though there's power plugs in the each lot, we did not bring an extension from them. Thank God for our power station. All this with us, captain and offering. As usual, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. It will really help us out. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.